Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jaded Blossom and it is time for the Gnome Dies Christmas Add-ons Assembly Video 3. Hey, so I'm using the new Gnome Dies Christmas Add-ons 3 along with their Gnome Dies, our Girl Gnome Dies, and you might want these Gnome Dies extra parts 1 and 2, just, you know, to help you along. So first I cut out my little shadows or silhouettes of my gnomes out of black cardstock. It doesn't really matter what. Now I'm going to add her little dress and that was cut out of pure poppy cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. I'm using Barely Art glue to stick everything together. Now I do make a mistake in this video and I left it in so you can see it. So keep that in mind. So first of all, I'm putting together her little, I don't know, this little gold part and so I cut it out of gold mirror cardstock and um, rainbow petite prints in dot stripe from doodle bug in a blue and I'm gluing those together using my reverse tweezers and my barely art glue I do weight it down now I decide to stick the face down next this is my mistake I left it in so you could see it so that's p13 stamping pad skin tones then you're going to want to do a little bit of surgery so cut off the top of the old hat, and then you can add the new hat that is pure poppy cardstock from Paper Trink as well. And that overlaps the face just a tiny bit. There we go. And I do weight it down. Then I realize, oh darn it, I've got to peel up that face because I've got to stick this little decorative part underneath. So remember, before you do what I do, this little decorative part goes on first. And then we add the face. And then we add the hat. There we go. I do, I always leave these in so you can see my mistakes so you don't make them yourself. So there we go. So all set. And I do weight it down in between just, you know, to make things a little easier for myself. So first I'll add this little gold detail on the hat that does line up with the top of the hat. And that is gold mirror cardstock again. It might be Recollections. I'm not even sure of the brand. And I'm going to build up the belt. I cut it out of just uh, paper trank black cardstock and then Simon Says Stamp black glossy cardstock. And I'm going to do the same thing for the bill of the hat. So that's paper trank black cardstock and then um, Simon Says Stamp glossy black cardstock. And I do weight it down in between. I'm going to add on my little belt buckle, which, which is that gold mirror cardstock again, using my reverse tweezers. All my die cutting today was done with my Anna Griffin um, Empress Mini. I've got an extended plate for that as well. There we go. And I'm working on my Stampin' Up! pad, as I always do. And using my reverse tweezers and all that jazz. Okay, so this little blue detail is also that Rainbow Petite Prince dot stripe from Doodlebug. And then I will add this little gold detail. There you go. And I'm going to add a little white feather, because I figured why not, right? That's Paper Tray Ink white cardstock, and I'm going to slip that behind. Trying to keep things centered. You know, as good as I can do. And then I will add my little glossy hat bill. There we go. Kind of fun, right? And I'm going to add her little um, yellow pigtails. So she's going to be a little blonde girl. And that is American Crafts yellow cardstock. It's got a bit of a texture to it. But you can use whatever you like, right? You can make your little majorette look like any, any nationality you want. I'm going to add two little bows to her hair, and those are red bows. And I will pop up her feet with 3M foam tape. And that is, I think that's scrapbook adhesives. It's just a little black dot. And then I'll add her little nose, which is that same P13 stamping pad skin tones. So I'm going to stick her little belt down, I believe, next with my Barely Art glue. There we go. Isn't she adorable? Oh my goodness. And you could sort of customize this. Like if, you're, if your kid is in the marching band or something, you could do your school colors. Um, I just think that would be fabulous. So now I'm going to pop up her little feet. And isn't she cute? So she's got these two little fasteners for her coat that are cut out of that same gold mirror cardstock. One is a little bit smaller than the other. So the smaller one goes up higher than the other one does. And I will stick that next piece down. And isn't that the sweetest little thing? Oh, she's adorable. Okay, next I'm going to put together her little drum and her little drumstick. So the little drumsticks are cut out of paper tray ink craft cardstock. 
And then the hand is the same P13 stamping pad skin tone. So I'm just going to glue those two together. There we go. And then I will pop up her little hand with that same scrapbook adhesive. So I believe it's like just a little black foam square. And there we go. Isn't that cute? So there's a little drum stick. And next we'll put together her little drum. So first that's cut out of Paper Trank black cardstock. That's just for the shadow base. And then this is gold mirror cardstock again. I think it's recollections, but you know, don't quote me. And then I'm going to add pure poppy cardstock from Paper Tray Ink for the top and bottom of that drum, which is kind of fun, right? There we go. And then I'm going to add in this little X, um, but I'm trying to decide, do I want it in the same or do I want it in the um, gold glitter cardstock? And I choose the gold glitter cardstock. I believe that's from Simon Says Stamp. And there we go, isn't that cute? And then I'll pop up her little hand um, with part of one of these scrapbook adhesives, little foam squares. There we go. Add her little hand on there. And isn't that cute? And we'll have her drumming away. And there, isn't she sweet? Okay, so next I'm going to put together the little nutcracker. So I'm going to add his little beard first that is cut out of smoky shadow cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. I did edge that in white pigment ink. Mine is close to my heart's white daisy. So I do some surgery on the hat and I'm going to add the Paper Tray Ink black hat on next. I do edge it in that same white daisy ink from close to my heart. There we go. I'm going to add the little band and that is cut out of that same rainbow petite prints and the dot stripe in that nice blue from Doodlebug. Then I will add on this little pure poppy dot for decoration on the hat. There we go. I do pop it up with one of those foam squares. And then I'll add um, a little gold feather or decoration, whatever you want to call it, with that gold mirror cardstock. I will um, clamp that down with my reverse tweezers. Now I do have this different mustache, right? That goes with the nutcracker. Now remember, you can make your nutcracker to have any color of beard. This is just what I chose to do. So I'm going to pop up the little nose with the foam square and I do glue the, the mustache down flat. Now I've got the little teeth that are cut out of white paper tray ink cardstock. There we go. And then I've got a little beard that's cut out of, um, or I guess a goatee, whatever you want to call it. It's cut out of white paper tray ink cardstock and I did edge it in Distress Oxide Ink and Hickory Smoke, just so it pops against the teeth a little bit. I didn't want it to blend into the teeth. And I do pop that up with some um, dimensionals there. I believe that's 3M foam tape right there. And I'll be using my reverse tweezers to stick that down once I can get all the backing off. Kind of all thumbs today. And there we go, isn't that cute? And I will pop up the little feet with some 3M foam tape as well. And now you've got a super cute little nutcracker. And there he is, he's so cute, right? So now I'm going to put together his little staff. I decide to put one together um, with the hand and one without, but you know, it doesn't really matter. You can use, um, you don't have to use the staff. You don't have to layer the staff on the one with the hand if you want. I cut them out of um, mirror cardstock from um, I believe Recollections and Pure Poppy cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. So there we go. And just using my Barely Art glue, I will pop up the hand on that one with the little hand spot. And isn't that cute? Now he's got his little smarching, now he's got his little staff, right? Just adorable stuff. You just gotta love it. I do weight it down in between. So next I'm going to put together this little star that's cut out of that same gold foil um, recollections cardstock, I believe. Um, I used paper tray black cardstock for the base and then I'm going to pop up the hands. That is P13 stamping pad skin tones again. Just, you know, my that's my choice. You know, you could easily um, color white cardstock with, um, you know, with skin tone or flesh tone markers if you'd wanted to. Um, that's just what I choose to use. Okay, now I'm going to put together my little angel. So I cut out her, her dress from the Girl Gnome Dies in that Simon Says Stamp white glitter cardstock first. And then I used that pattern, that uh, little pattern dress that's in the um, Gnome Dies Christmas Add-ons 3 set. And I cut that out of Paper Tray Ink white cardstock. And I'm going to layer them up. So the glitter sort of shows underneath. You don't have to do this. It's just what I chose to do. 
<clears throat> excuse me. So now I'm adding on a P13 Stamping Pad Skin Tones um, face. And then her little hat is cut out of um, Paper Train White cardstock again. And I did cut it out of white, um, you know, the shadow layer and the top layer. I figured why not. And then I have the little halo cut out of that same Recollections Gold Mirror cardstock. And I'm just going to glue that down with my Barely Art glue. Oops, I got to put it the right way. And there you have it. And I will weight it down. So you got to do a little bit of stamp surgery, you know, cut your shadow a little bit. And then I will add that on the top of my little angel there. And I will cover the face just a tiny bit. There we go. And we're getting going on this angel here. She's super cute. And her hair is that um, same American Crafts yellow cardstock. So I made a little blonde angel. It's got a little bit um, of a, you know, of a texture to it, which is nice. There we go. And I will pop up that little nose with some scrapbook. I believe this is scrapbook um, adhesives foam squares. So because that hat is so thick, I just put that on the bottom. And there we go. So isn't that fun? I just think she is adorable. I do pop up her feet with some 3M foam tape. I usually use Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. I'm completely out, people. I gotta place an order. There we go. And now I'm going to add her adorable little wings that were cut out of Simon Says Stamp White Glitter Cardstock with some ATG tape. And I'll stick those down. And then there's your pretty angel. Isn't she sweet? And she can hold a little star. Just adorable. Okay, so now I'm going to put together a girl gnome die and a boy gnome die um, using the little sweater and the matching hat set. So the little sweaters and the matching hats were cut out of um, sort of like an aqua colored um, dot stripe from Doodlebug's, like I said, Rainbow Petite Prince and dot stripe. So I cut it out of, you see that the one side is dot and the other side is stripe. So I cut the, the girl dress the plain dress that comes with the girl gnome dies first out of the striped and then I cut it out of the dotted for that for the that adorable new dress that's in the gnome dies Christmas add-ons three and you see that I did edge that aqua paper in a little bit of daisy white pigment ink from close to my heart again but you could use any pigment ink right or you don't have to do it at all it's up to you the beard is rust cardstock from um, american crafts i'm using p13 stamping pad skin tones again for my skin remember jada blossom does sell those pads if they are out of stock click notifications and you can be notified i'm not sure if they're in stock right now or not to be honest so now i'm adding on some little i'm having two little red heads here i thought that would be fun so her little braids and isn't that cute it's just an adorable, it cuts like a really cute kind of fair isle pattern um, with little snowflakes in it onto the little dress and hat. So I thought I would show it with the girl and with the boy, just for fun. So I'm popping up her little nose. There we go. Isn't she sweet? And I do give her, um, you know, I'm popping up her little feet with some 3M foam tape again. And I'm going to give her little pure poppy bows from Paper Tray Ink little red bows and then I will add on her little feet popping those up and I did cut out little reindeers deers from this set out of dark chocolate cardstock from paper tray ink I cut one for the hat and one for her little dress so I'm just going to have them kind of look looking like they're taking off right kind of fun so adding a little bit of that barely art glue there we go. And I'm going to add little bows to those reindeers too, because I thought, why not? I'll bring in the red, right? I'm just going to add them in. I'm using a Studio Catty embellishment wand to pick them up. And there she is. Isn't she sweet? I'm going to build my little boy gnome now. So, you know, the same thing. I'll be giving him little black shoes though, because I thought, why not, right? And that is Paper Train Black cardstock. And then I'm going to add his little reindeer on his hat and give it a little bow too as well because I thought why not right we'll just decorate it up and isn't that the sweetest thing oh so cute and there we go so now I'm going to put together the little reindeer balloon and I cut out the little um, 
first out of paper tray ink black cardstock and then the little uh, antlers were cut out of paper tray ink rainbow or no doodlebug rainbow petite prints and dot stripe it's a big mouthful that is dark chocolate cardstock and fine linen cardstock from paper tray ink again just lining those up and i will weight that down onto my little balloon in a second here lining things up and there you have it isn't that i just think that this is the cutest little balloon ever for for uh, christmas so i did cut the string again out of paper trank black cardstock and i'll line that up using my reverse tweezers that little needle tip on the barely art glue comes in handy when you're gluing fine things together now i'm going to add little the inside of the ears those were cut out of actually paper trank white cardstock and i just used an r20 marker to color it in I just, you know, I found that was simple for me. That way I didn't have to look for a pink that I wanted. The little nose is pure poppy cardstock from Paper Tray Ink, because this is going to be a little Rudolph balloon. Why not, right? Now the eyes are Paper Tray Ink black and white cardstock. And I'm going to glue those together as well. And the little mouth is also Paper Tray Ink black cardstock. So now I'm just going to add on the little eye or the little pupils on the eyeballs. There we go. I'm gonna have them kind of looking a little bit cross-eyed because of course, how cute is that? And then I will add on the little eyes. These little embellishment tools really help pick things up, I find. Oops, it moved a little bit. There we go. I just find that really helps. So now I'm going to put together the wreath. So that was cut first out of paper tray black cardstock. And then this is um, Doodlebug's Candy Stripe and Sprinkles on the sprinkle side from Doodlebug. And then this is pure poppy cardstock. I cut the center out twice, once out of white, and then once more out of that pure poppy, just to give the center a little bit of dimension. You don't have to do this. And then I'm going to add my little bow with my reverse tweezers and some more of that glue. You can see where it goes, but you could put it wherever you like if you don't use the shadow, right? There we go. I just find it's handy to add the hands when you use the shadow. So now I cut all these little berries out um, using pure poppy cardstock again and the little tiny die. I kept it attached to the bow center. Um, I, I suggest that because it's a really small die just so you don't lose it. So I'm going to add five of these little berries, you know, um, an odd number. That's kind of what I go for. And isn't that cute? She's just adorable. And then I'll pop up the little hands with these scrapbook adhesive uh, foam squares. That's that P13 Stamping Pad Skin Tones again. And I think we are finally done. Isn't that cute? Oh, it's just adorable. Now I can add a little hand on that balloon. I'm just going to um, add it with a foam square. Now there's no shadow for this one, but it doesn't matter. You can add a you can add a little hand or not, right? And there it is. Isn't that sweet? And then you've got your little drummer girl. And you've got your little nutcracker with a staff. And then you have an adorable angel. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog. Be inspired by the team. The Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. Remember, um, they will all go live a little later in this week. And, um, you know, for purchase individually, um, there's always a gotta have it now that you can get your hands on early. And then you get your stuff really early, sometimes before the end of the release itself, which is lots of fun. So you're going to want to get your hands on this release. It's adorable. I've been having a great time. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, everybody.